will see a question on multiplication problem. The question is shown. The question says how many zeros are there at the end of following product. So certain numbers are given and we have to find out number of zeros. So option A is the answer. Now how to solve such questions? I will briefly explain you here only that you remove all the zeros actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 zeros we have already counted that uh, if we remove these zeros there are going to be 6 zeros at the end. Now thereafter in any such problem we try to work out how many pairs are there of 5 and 2. So these pairs are going to give you 1 0 each. So suppose that there are 4 such pairs so that means we will have 4 more zeros here. So now we will see the solution. Now it is given that this is a series given multiplication problem given and we'll, we have identified 6 zeros 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So when we remove these 6 zeros the multiplication problem becomes like this that uh, at the end we are going to have 6 zeros that means 10 lakh 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 zeros at the end. Now from remaining numbers we will make the pairs of 5 and 2. So we will factorize this, these numbers into 5 and 2. So now 5, 15 becomes 3 and 5, then 25 becomes 5 and 5, 35 becomes 7 and 5, then we have 4 here, so 4 becomes 2 and 2, 45 becomes 9 and 5, then 5 here, 55 becomes 11 and 5 and lastly 6 becomes 3 and 2. So these are the, this is the factorization we have done. So I will erase the markings. Now based on this factorization, how many 5 and 2 we are getting? 1, 2, then 3 and lastly this 5 and this 2, 4. So when you multiply this 5 and 2, 5 and 2, 5 and 2, 4 pairs, so you will get 4 tens, 1, 2, 3, 4. And when we multiply these tens, so we are already having 6 zeros here, so this becomes actually 10 zeros and then remaining numbers will be here. So this is how we solve such questions. So hope answer is clear. So answer is option A will have 10 zeros at the end of multiplication number. So thank you very much and thanks for watching.